welcome to part four of Sunday's Strength and Stretch. Today we're going to be doing a practice that is a little bit different. It's going to be a yoga practice that you can do before bed to relax or whenever you feel you need to unwind, whenever you feel you need some restorative time on the mat rather than something more energetic. So this will be a very chilled out one. So you're welcome to grab a cushion as a support for your hips if you'd like to sit up on it, a blanket at the end if you feel you need something to make you more comfortable. But when you're ready, we'll just get started. So bring yourself to a comfortable seat, wherever that is for you. I'm sitting cross-legged, but you're welcome to sit sort of back on your heels. And I'd like you to just take a second to breathe in. And breathe out through the mouth. And did you notice as you breathed out that your shoulders sort of slid down your back a little bit? If you didn't, let's do it again. So breathe in. Breathe out. And notice how that time things visibly soften in the back of the neck in the shoulders, in the posture. Ooh. So just do that one more time. So breathe in. And breathe out. And bring your eyes to close if you feel comfortable. And just notice for a second where you are right now. Notice if your mind is still racing. Notice if actually you're ready for bed or for resting. And both of those are fine. So when you're ready, you can open your eyes if you have them closed. And I'd like us to begin by just circling through the neck. So imagine that you're drawing your nose around a little golf ball and you're just going to use your nose to draw a counter, no, clockwise, sorry, other way, a clockwise circle around that golf ball. A couple of times, just keep breathing. And then you're going to move on to a saucer. crunches, any clicks are welcome. And then keep breathing, and you're going to move on to a dinner plate. It's quite a big circle. And you're almost just driving with your nose, so if you find it hard to not worry about the size of your dinner plate, just close your eyes and just use your mind's eye to bring a dinner plate right in front of you. And it's easier, I find, when you've got your eyes closed because maybe you don't feel as self-conscious or maybe you can just focus on the sensation of the skin on the back of the neck that's stretching. Take one more dinner plate size circle one way. And when you reach the top of the dinner plate, pause, breathe in. And as you breathe out, reverse it. So you're going the other direction around this dinner plate. And as I did that, I noticed that the tension in one of my shoulders was definitely there. And that's all I've done. I've just noticed it. And now I can work with it. So keep drawing that dinner plate in the other direction. And then reverse it to a saucer. So, slightly smaller. And notice if you don't feel the skin of the neck stretch as much, or actually if you feel you're getting into it now and you're like, yes. And then move on to golf ball sized. So 
So just a little circle in the center of the nose. It doesn't have to be perfect. Maybe your golf ball is a walnut. Maybe your golf ball is a marble. I don't really mind. And breathe in as you do your last golf ball, etc. Shaped marble, shaped marble, shaped circle. And then just bring yourself back to a still position, seated. And open your eyes if you have them closed. Notice how that feels. Turn your head gently to the right, gently to the left. Look gently up, not directly above your head, because then you'd be crunching, but just sort of a couple of meters ahead of you, out the ceiling. And then look down, look down gently towards your ankle, so towards the mat. And notice that stretch again in the back of the neck. And I'd like you to stay looking down for a couple of breaths. And notice as you exhale, do you feel there's this kind of warmth that goes from the nape of the neck, neck, I'm so relaxed I can't talk, the nape of the neck down into the top of the spine, down through your shoulder blades, through your traps, down through every bit of tissue that you have, down the upper part of your back. And every time you exhale, it's as if it's being sort of gently stretched out. And now breathe in and gently bring your gaze further in front of the mat and then slowly stack up through each vertebra of the spine. And take a second here to just look straight ahead and notice how you feel, notice how your neck feels. And when you're ready, I'd like you to bring your left hand onto the mat next to you. So if you're on the couch, you can do this on the couch. If you're sat um, on your knees, you may just have your fingertips hovering on the mat, that's fine. You're going to bring your right hand out to the side and snake it behind you, behind your back, so that it reaches for your left bicep or your left elbow, or your left forearm, wherever feels comfortable. And you can snuggle so that your, your chest is a little bit more proud. And you can think about bringing your shoulder blades down the back rather than curling upwards. And readjust your seat if you need to. And I'd like you to kind of just gently pull that left shoulder down a little bit, really get some space in the joint and you don't have to do this forcibly you don't have to do this very strongly it's just to get a little bit of space and experiment with how that feels you're in control so is your arm at least i don't think it would be anyone else's and then when you're ready can you tip your right ear over to your right shoulder and you should feel a lovely stretch going down from your left ear to the top of your left shoulder and if that's enough you can stay here or can you turn your head so that your nose is in line with your right knee and just take a couple of good breaths here again you can experiment with kind of gently tugging that arm downwards this doesn't have to be perfect it's more about how it feels in the neck And when you've had enough, bring your nose back up to center gently. And then bring the other hand, so for me that's my right hand, onto the floor next to you by your hips. Snake that left arm behind you. Grab onto your bicep, grab onto the crook of your elbow. Grab onto wherever feels good. And again, can you give it a little tug? Notice if you can make some space. And you draw those shoulder blades down and if you're struggling to bring them down just breathe in really deeply feel yourself rise up and then exhale through the mouth notice how you soften 
And then when you're ready, bring your head straight up and then tip your left ear over to your left shoulder. And again, you can stay here if that's enough. Or you can turn to point your nose in line with your left knee. And you'll notice how this side is different necessarily. You'll notice how maybe there's some tension in your shoulders that you wish you knew about sooner or that you wish you addressed sooner and that's okay you showed up right now so you're already doing something amazing and this stretch is great if you're a little bit too close to keyboards for your liking or if you work at a desk or even if you just do a lot of things with your hands and breathe in and breathe out and bring your head back stacked over your spine and release the hands and now when you're ready I'd like you to just turn so that you're seated sort of lengthways on your mat and I'd like you to bring your feet sort of flat on the floor in front of you and there's a couple of variations we can take for this restorative stretch so you choose the one you'd like to do. Once you're here with your feet flat on the floor and parallel, you can bring the fleshy part of your bum out of the way. And I'd like you to place your hands on your kneecap and kneecap, kneecaps, and just slide your hands downwards so that the top of your feet and the palm of your hands make contact. And this can be enough for you. If you get here and you think, this is where I want to be, breathe in and just drop the head as you exhale and feel the stretch down the neck, down your back, and that will be perfectly suited to what we're trying to achieve here, which is to relax. So if you feel as though you want a little bit more, or if you want to experiment with this version, can you bring your hands onto the outside edges of your feet, so your thumbs touch your pinky toes? Can you very elegantly walk your heels out in front of you so that you're getting a bit of a deeper fold? And I'm not going to ask you to go into full sort of straight legs, straight back on top of your legs. That can be amazing, but it's not really the shape. Well, it might be the shape you need right now, but. If you can, you can experiment with just having this pose. So my hands are on the outside of my feet and there's contact between my chest and my knees and I feel sort of length in the spine. And you can go as far as you want. You can have your knees very generously bent or very slightly bent. Breathe in. And as you breathe out, can you soften and drop the head can you feel the stretch down the back of the legs, down the lower back? A really deep restorative stretch in this forward fold. And I like having my hands on the outside of my feet. I find it very grounding. But of course, you're welcome to bring them by the sides of your feet on the mat or on top of your feet. And I'm just going to be quiet for a bit and let you get into this stretch and just take some deep, full breaths. in one more time and breathe out and the next time you breathe in I'd like you to very gently let go of your feet carve a line with the nose up towards the front edge of your mat and then slowly walk yourself back try not to rush so that you don't sort of whiplash your spine too much and it feels good why bother rushing? And bring yourself back into this seated position. 
bring your feet back flat on the floor if they weren't there already. And now I'd like you to just put one hand on top of the other, doesn't matter which, and bring the crooks of your elbows to rest on the outside of your kneecaps. And just take a second to look between your feet Breathe in and look straight ahead and just take a second, chilling out in this posture. And then when you're ready, bring your hands down to the side of your hips. Yes, that's right. Bring your feet together and you can take any variation on this you want, but I'd like you to bring your feet a little bit closer to your seat. And this may be enough for you, and you may just want to lean forwards and wrap your arms around your shins and drop your nose or your cheeks onto your kneecap. And that's absolutely fine, and that would be a great stretch. Or you can take this little egg pose, for want of a better term, further, and you can wiggle your feet back so that you feel your center of gravity is shifting downwards and back. And you can stay with just your toes on the floor, or you can straighten your feet and find that wonderful balance right on the sacrum, right on the lower back. And you're just hovering, and it feels really quite nice, because you're not swaying all over the place. And again, if you want something a little bit more passive, you can just tip forwards, bring your toes to the floor, bring your feet flat on the ground. If you want something a little bit more dynamic, you can sort of straighten your shins out so they're slightly parallel to the ceiling. Whichever version you decide on, make sure your arms are folded and across your shins in a way that works for you. Breathe in, look straight ahead, and just breathe up. Excuse me, breathe out and just touch your brow bone towards your kneecaps. Feel that great stretch down the spine. So just keep breathing here. Take one more breath in. And as you breathe out, look straight ahead of you. Land, if you were airborne, bring your toes onto the mat, and then just release the arms. And bring them behind you, and look at your knees, give them a little shake, and then tick tock them to the left, to the right. Crawl your feet forwards as you do this, so that you eventually get to a point where your legs are straight out in front of you. And take your time with this, there's no rush. As you can see, I am taking my time. And I've got a lot of legs, so this might take a minute. There we go. Straighten your legs out. And then just bring yourself down onto your back, onto your elbows. However you need to get here. Readjust yourself so that you're in frame if you're filming, <laughs> and bring your hands onto your belly, and when you're ready, pick your right knee up so that your foot's flat on the floor, and tip your knee towards you so that you can grab your right shin. And there's no forced movement here, there's no sort of crunching in the abs. Just readjust your shoulders, Give it a little sway if you need, from outside to inside. And just enjoy the stretch down the front of the left leg and that slight compression in the right hip flexor. Your foot is floppy. You might be feeling floppy, that's really good. And keep breathing, smooth, long breath. Breathe in and breathe out, release that shin down. 
stretch your arms to the ceiling. You can flip your palms if you have them interlaced. And just feel the stretch down the outside of the arms. Bring that left foot flat on the floor. Flip your palms so they're facing towards you. And we're just gonna do the same thing on the other side. So pick up that left knee, bring your hands onto that left shin, and just relax here. Again, you can sort of straighten out your shoulder blades, you can tip your hip from left to right. Any gentle movement that you feel would be good, you're welcome to take. And come back to stillness. Notice what colour your ceiling is, if this is something you hadn't noticed before, mine or what? and release the hands and drop the foot onto the floor. And then crawl it out so that both legs are straight down in front of you. And the last stretch we're going to take, you're going to bring one hand so that the top of your hand is just above your face and the other just on top. And you're going to lift up your head and bring your hands on the back of your head like a pillow for the back of your head and you can feel the shape of your skull might be a bit gross but actually it's nice to kind of notice how things feel when they're always busy like your head anyway bring your elbows as wide as you can feel the nice opening in the chest and the pecs and the collarbone and just take a second here to relax. You can readjust the hands as necessary. You can be quiet. You can sigh audibly to yourself if you feel you still have a little bit of tension. And breathe in. And as you breathe out, Release the hands, bring the back of the head to the mat, and walk your hands slowly by your side. And now we do absolutely nothing. So, if you feel comfortable, you can close your eyes or you can soften your gaze. Can you feel the weight of the back of the head on the mat, the contact? of the top part of your spine between your shoulder blades resting on the floor, your sacrum and your buttocks making contact with the mat, your calves evenly resting into the floor and your heels and maybe a little bit of the outside edge, edge, edge of your foot on the mat. Can you reverse it and feel the gaps? The gaps where your Achilles tendons are, the back of your knees might be slightly off the floor, the middle and the lower part of your back floating, the nape of your neck, the gaps and the spaces, and the filling in of the blanks as you rest. And if none of this makes sense to you, you can just take three breaths and notice if they're calmer than when you began, if they're smoother and longer, or if actually the to-do list seems to have crept back into your mind and you're thinking about what to do next. And that's fine, just notice. And then decide what you'd like to do. You can stay here as long as you need to. Or if you're ready to go forth and you've refocused, can you just wiggle your fingertips and your toes? Bring a little bit of movement back into the body after that rest. 
and you can tip over to one side, but I'm just going to choose my left side. Bend your knees, and you're just lying on your left side or on your right for a second before bringing yourself up to seated gently. Notice if you've ruined your hair a little bit, that's fine. You can be, you can adjust your hair later. Bring your hands onto your kneecaps. Breathe in. Take a second to notice how you feel, how the breath feels. And you're all done. And hopefully that was a nice restorative session and you feel marshmallow-like, to say the least. And now you're ready to go to bed or to just get on with your day and you feel like you've done something for yourself. Thank you so much for showing up and I'll see you next week.